Hey guys, it's Joey from First String Lawn Care here. So today I'm gonna walk you around the truck and trailer and give you a uh, just a quick view of what we going, got going on for uh, 2021 as far as our uh, truck and trailer setup. So I'll just pan out here. So we got the Chevy Silverado, full eight foot bed, two wheel drive. So guys, we are a uh, residential only company and we service properties that are normally <clears throat> a quarter acre or less and you're looking at mainly lots like this you know these little small small lots that we can push mow real quick but uh, here we go guys so this is all stuff that is <clears throat> this trailer is just going to make money this year. I bought everything last year. Everything is paid for. So this year, it's all... Well, the truck's not paid for. I am making monthly payments on the truck. But the equipment, other than that, is all paid for. So this year, we're going to try to turn a major, major profit. So uh, <clears throat> we've got the uh, Honda HRX 217. That's last year's model. Uh, we didn't put too much on this one this year. Uh, I ended up going with the uh, Toros. Uh, I'll show you those in just a minute. Um, started out with the uh, KM131 uh, combi kit. <clears throat> um, that's really handy for when you have uh, some uh, weed eating that, uh, that, that needs a little bit more power or when you're edging uh, really uh, rough properties that haven't been edged in a long time. Uh, it comes, you know, you can buy different attachments for it. I've got the pole saw attachment, the edger attachment, articulating hedge trimmer attachment, weed eater attachment, and the bed redefining attachment. And guys, that's still uh, 131. It's uh, It's got a lot of power. Uh, we've got uh, one set of steel HS56 hedge trimmers. They do an awesome job. They're super light, and I, I can just cut better with the handheld ones like that. I may get uh, some that are a little bit uh, longer this year, maybe like a, you know, like a longer uh, extension pole type uh, hedge trimmer. Uh, okay, as far as backpack blowers, we've got one BRX 800. We've got the Shure cans. And I would tell you guys, I don't know why I didn't do this because, I, you know, running out of gas like we do, uh, it probably would have been a smart thing just to get two five gallons. So you got to, you know, I got one five gallon and one two and a half gallon. Um, on the other side of the, well, we'll just go around this way. It's my daughter over here. But, uh, so on this side, we've got the string trimmer and the edger. You're looking at the steel fs 94r and the steel fc 111 everything uh the green touch racks love those racks guys awesome racks awesome awesome racks they man they they save a ton of time and i can i can actually go in you know like say we're out we need to run into home depot or any of these stores you know you can leave your stuff in the parking lot and not worry about it getting stole uh, so this side we've got the BRX, uh, the BR uh, 600. Uh, said so we got the 800 because it blows a lot harder, obviously, and it's it's good for uh, you know like a little bit bigger leaf cleanups. The 600, it's okay for that too, but the 800's a lot better. Mowers, we run two Toro Turfmaster 30 inch mowers, guys. Uh, these have the Kohlers. It was a little more uh, torque. Not sure if there's a difference between the Kohler and the uh, the Kawasaki engine. I know guys, you know, live and breathe the Kawasaki engines. I hadn't had any trouble out of these Kohlers. We've run them, you know, a half season. So I haven't had any issues out of these yet. But, uh, and this trailer, guys, it's a small 5x10 trailer. That's us. That's what we're going to run this season. We're going to run till the wheels fall off, and then we'll <laughs> we'll see where that gets us this season. 
guys hope you enjoyed watching talk to you later